This word press tutorial is going to show you how to use a plugin by the name of Section Widget. By far, this is one of my favorite and most useful plugins that I've used so far, and I thought it was worthwhile to sh show it to you. So basically, after you've installed the widget, once again, it goes by the name of Section Widget. When you go to your website to add a widget into your sidebar, you have your available widgets. Um, everything looks the same as what it always do, has in the past. However, there's two different options for you. You have now have a section tabbed, and then you also have a section. This particular video is just going to go over the first one here, the section, and a later video will go over section tabbed. So what you're going to do then is you're going to grab the widget, pull it over to your desired area, and that did not go and stay. Oh, here we go. I have my little box. All right. Now, um, you can see here that you have um, a lot of different options. You can display it everywhere. You can display only on your front page um, or on your post page. And you have a lot of different, different things. Do you only want it to show on specific category archive pages? So basically you can do anything that you want with this widget and what it's going to do is anything you have in the sidebar with this section widget, it will only show up on the specific pages or posts that you have defined under this widget tab. So in this case we're going to hop over here and we're going to say categories. So right now we're going to tell this widget it can show up on any category that I have labeled as WordPress tips. And then it's also going to show up on the, yeah, let's go with the workshops page. All right, so it should now work where I've indicated. So we're just going to put in here test widgets. And then we're going to come down here and, oh, we're going to put in here follow me on Twitter at imagine. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. So now as you saw, we put this um, on any blog post that WordPress tips and then also on the workshops page of this website. So let's go here. Let's refresh the page. So we're going to go here to workshops. So we have regular sidebar items that were already there before. And here you go. So you see this here, test widget down here on workshops page. However, now if we go to the contact page, we don't see it, not there. Um, also is not showing up on our about page. That's awesome. And it should be showing up on this blog post um, because this blog post is categorized as WordPress tips. So let's scroll down and lo and behold, there you go, you see it again. So that widget, um, as you can tell, is incredibly helpful if you have a widget, maybe you want to display an affiliate banner ad with specific pages or something to that effect. This particular plugin, as I mentioned before, definitely one of my favorites and one of the most useful ones to helping you manage and control items that show up in your sidebar and where they show up.